So over here, you can see that I have a query and on the heading area, you can see that there's sum of price, there's average, there's minimum, but let's say I want to change around the heading. So in that case, what I will have to do is I need to go um, into the design view right here. So over here on the top, you can see that there's the headings as you can see right here. So now in order to change the heading name, I need to go around over here and then um, be, uh, besides the column right here, you can see that this is where the data is coming from, the price right here. So instead of sum of price, I'm just going to say total just like this. And over here, instead of average of price, I'm just going to type in average right here. So colon is where um, uh, or, or after colon is where the data is coming from. So I'm just going to go around and say minimum right here. And over here, instead of max of price, I'm just going to say maximum right here. So ma uh, maxi mum right here, as you can see. So this is what I have. So over here, it says first of topic right here. So I'm just going to say uh, that this is going to be uh, prices um, of courses. So I'm just going to go around and rename this out. So in the name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a column right here. And in the beginning, I'm just going to say expert name right here. So it won't change the data, but it will only change out the title in this particular query. So now if I were to go around into data seed view, now you can see the expert name right here. You can see the price of courses right here. You got the total right here. You got the average, the minimum and maximum, as you can see right here. And that is how you can rename out column names in query design. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.